I think that uh, I, I think the mother-daughter relationship with Muniba and Kamala is is very true to life to the South Asian experience. That is how it is. The push, the pull, the not able, especially the immigrant South Asian experience, and not able to let go of the kids as easily as as the broader American culture, because they've come to make the life for the children, so they can't understand why you want to leave. And so that's very believable. Uh, the deep love, the protection, and then, of course, you know, that's universal is the teenage um, rebellion, I think. It's, all mothers will get that. Um, but I can't tell you how many people will write to me uh, on Instagram and say, hello, Zenobia, auntie, because, you know, in our culture we say auntie. Uh, I thought my mother is dying to see you on the screen because she's never seen somebody portrayed on the screen. So I think that, that that's some, I know that's not your question, but I just want to throw that in. But that's, it's really important that this is happening and that we're showing this, this dynamic between um, the South Asian mothers and daughters. It's very true to life, I think, yeah. Um, I don't have a father. I've never seen my father. He died when uh, I was nine months old. I'm not married. I don't have a child, but I've always wanted one. And um, given this opportunity with this wonderful script, a wonderful uh, supporting cast and Iman playing my daughter, I think I got to live vicariously through Yusuf Khan. And uh, it was precious because um, I guess what in or what how did I work on my character? I didn't. I just Yusuf Khan is a man from the heart, and I just played it from the heart. And I think I the moments that I got with uh, Iman to play uh, the fathers to connect with her, I think we hit those notes. So I'm very uh, blessed on that front. Uh, but you're also a very warm, and you're a warm kind, loving guy. So I think that that came naturally. And I think that Iman is very good at turning up that vulnerability when the camera is on her as well. So I think that, that there were some beautiful moments you all got. Yeah, so uh, Kamala and Amer have a, they have a solid, you know, much older brother, much younger sister relationship. Uh, he's kind of like a third parent who she doesn't listen to because nobody listens to the third parent. I didn't listen to my older brother. Uh, I'm like the goody goody kind of of the two and she's the more rebellious one. Um, uh, they have a lot of respect for each other while also getting on each other's nerves. Uh, just like a sibling dynamic. Um, he really wants to look out for her and protect her. And she doesn't need it, you know? Yeah, she doesn't need it. She doesn't need it. She's stronger than him. Uh, she has more willpower than him. She's smarter than him. Um, and she's just got a lot more going for herself than he does. Um, and he's kind of a, a little aloof to that. Um, he thinks he's got it all figured out. When he, he really doesn't, the guy doesn't know how to drive, <laughs> you know. Uh, um, but yeah, they, they you know, <laughs> they are a classic, much older sibling, much younger sibling uh, duo. Well, I think the reason why the family's authenticity would have a relatability to everyone, because at the end of the day, it's human relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's as basic as that. Yeah. And the South Asian uh, community all over the world will immediately connect with this. I mean, don't look for, you know, uh, earth-shattering uh, exposés and about, you know, what a family is. It's a loving Pakistani immigrant family. Everybody will relate to the human dynamics and the love that they have for each other. Every family has a strife. Every uh, yeah. older, younger sibling has that. Every, uh, you know, wife and husband have this, uh, uh, I mean, unstated competition with the children that, you know, yeah. somebody plays bad cop, yeah. somebody plays good yeah, cop, yeah. and, you know, and somewhere for along sure. the way, they both also kind of come together to say, no, okay, listen, I agree with your mother that, you know, this is not, a, it's just the way they come across. So everybody relate to it. It's human. It's, it's family emotions. 
I think everybody will relate to it regardless of race or religion because the family elements that are there are just the same in all families. Love, conflict, um, you know, sometimes that love-hate push-pull between parents and children, caring. These are not things that are exclusive to yeah. any community. These are universal things. And uh, we happen to be Muslim, and that's the point. We are a normal family who happen to be Muslim. We don't want to come in guns blazing saying, hey, look at us, we're this Muslim family. So everybody watching it with an open heart and an open mind is going to relate to it. And God forbid if somebody doesn't relate to it, here's your chance to start understanding what a sweet, happy family can be. Yeah, and you know, like, I think people will find the relatability in, in this family because, I mean, we're all pretty funny. And, uh, and everybody is naturally their most self-selves in front of their family. And I think more so than not, people are funny when they're with their family. They love yeah. joking mm -hmm. with each other. They love, you know, annoying each other. And because the guards are down. Yeah, yeah. The, their guards yeah. are down. They have no walls. Um, um, and I think people are really going to love that aspect of this family. Why not? Why is it not? In 2022, it's really important to show female leadership, to show Muslim leadership, to show minority leadership. And she embodies all of that. And there's a lot of girls out there who are going to look at her and go, yeah, maybe I can dream my dream too. Little girls everywhere. All it's like questioning. Boys. It's like questioning why did Malala Yousafzai come around? Why not? Why not? Yeah, for me, it's uh, particularly important because I have uh, three nieces, mm. and um, you know they're like eight, six, and three. And you know, when I was a kid, we didn't have anything like this go growing up, uh, and. Um, it really, it really made me feel like the other. And so I'm really excited for my three nieces to watch this and feel like they belong, like, mm. like they are not the other, like they are normal. And, and, um, and I just think that's so powerful. Just to, it shouldn't be powerful to feel normal. It should be normal to feel normal. Mm. And the fact that my nieces get to live a life that we didn't get to live growing up, I think that's beautiful. The other thing being that, you know, in the in the Muslim community, the, the perception is about the girls are in hijab, they're not meant to do this, they're not meant to do that. But that's not the case. It's because the Muslim community is a very beautifully diverse community. Yes. And here in America, the way they're assimilating with uh, and contributing to society is fantastic. So for Marvel to uh, greenlight uh, a project which kind of shows a progressive Muslim family uh, assimilating with the Western uh, world uh, and the way that one of their children is, while holding on to uh, the family values, the, uh, the um, religious values and all that, still dreams and, you know, does things which anybody else would do and does it very well. So I think it's a fabulous thing, which is why the why not. Iman, Iman's a natural. Iman's a pro. She came into this, you know, like she had a day of not knowing what she was doing. And then, boom, she just like figured her stuff out. Un like she learned. It's, to me, it feels like she learned everything in one moment. You know, like in The, in the Matrix where, uh, where he didn't know how to fight and then they did that thing and he's like, I know kung fu. That's what Iman did on this job. She didn't, she didn't know anything to start, and then suddenly she knows everything, and she just, like, figured it all out. Yeah, it She's was so her smart. film school. It She's was so her smart. acting school. It was like her, you know, she, she didn't go to film school. She didn't go to act. She worked it all out in real time, and I'm sure in her mind she had, you know, doubts and days that she was less than happy, but she hit the ground running, and... and you couldn't really tell uh, in the performance part of it that she was struggling. Miss Marvel Comics came out when? Eight, ten years ago? Yeah. And uh, this is coming out 2022. The stars aligned for Iman to come of yeah. age. 
and for this At to this happen. At this time, yeah. She yeah. was born to play this part. You know, the universe conspired and it's going to be She knows the Marvel universe so yeah. well, too. It's yeah. just ridiculous. She was born to be Miss Marvel Kamala Khan. Yeah.